major travel disruptions today because of smoke from wildfires in Canada. The FAA issued a ground stop for all flights at LaGuardia in New York because of low visibility. Major League Baseball and the WNBA games have also been postponed because of the poor air quality. Take a look at the video of the New York skyline this afternoon. It looks apocalyptic. More than 55 million people across the U.S. are under air quality alerts as smoke covers major cities, including the cities of New York, Raleigh, and St. Louis. And this is video as the yellow haze stretches across a lake in New York. Experts say it could cause a serious health risk. In New York City, the nation's capital, west to Detroit and down to North Carolina, millions of Americans are under alert for unhealthy air quality conditions as Canadian wildfire smoke floats a mix of pollutants through U.S. skies. It affects every part of the airway system from the nose all the way down to the lungs. Experts say to take caution. When the air quality is this bad, everybody should try to stay indoors. Especially those with pre-existing conditions that impact the heart and lungs. Dr. Afif El-Hassan is a pediatrician and spokesperson for the American Lung Association. Make sure that you anticipate ahead of time if you need specific medications, especially inhalers for asthmatics. With more than 9 million acres charred by Canadian wildfires so far this year, Dr. John Balms of the University of California, San Francisco and UC Berkeley says the eastern U.S. should anticipate future air quality concerns like the West does. This is a wake-up call for those in the East Coast about what uh, is in store for the future. These wildfires are going to continue to be a problem. And Dr. El Hassan says to play it safe for a few days after the haze clears. The air can still be polluted and have a large number of particles in it for many days after the fires. So it would be important to monitor the air quality in your area before you decide to go outside and do a lot of outdoor activities. Assistant Chief Meteorologist David Hecker is joining us now. David, a lot of people wondering, and they see the maps, see the smokes came down to Georgia. Is it going to affect us? Yeah, this is a very wide, impactful system here that's impacting a good deal of the northern U.S. We're just not talking about here New York City. In fact, you can see on our map smoke extending from parts of Tennessee all the way up into parts of the Canadian Maritimes. In this area of darker gray, that's where the smoke is very, very intense. We had air quality alerts for much of the Northeast, including cities like Boston, New York, and Washington, D.C. So the areas of red, you see these red dots, that's where the significant wildfires are. And they are having just a brutal season right now in parts of Quebec and sections of Ontario. And right now, the upper level winds in the jet stream kind of dragging that almost due south and then shoving it towards the Atlantic Ocean, which is why some of the worst air quality is in cities like Buffalo, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., and New York. But you can also see extends all the way back here into portions of the Midwest in states like Michigan, northern Indiana, and sections of Ohio. So what to expect here as we head to the next couple of days, and is this heading our direction? Well, the short answer is no. So this is a computer product we use to kind of depict where the smoke is going. The areas of red, you see that's where we have that more significant bloom of smoke. And you can see over the next couple of days, still a smoky day into parts of New York City and areas of the Midwest. But you can see as we move into Friday, yes, a little tongue of that smoke may get back into parts of southeast Georgia. So if you live in cities like Waycross, Brunswick, it may get a little hazy. But we're pretty confident Jacksonville and North Florida, this haze is going to stay up towards the north. And eventually the upper level winds will begin to push this off into parts of the Atlantic waters. But probably one, if not two more, really bad days for air quality across sections of the northeast.